Welcome to The Joy of Music. Featuring as hostess, Diane Bish, the first lady of the organ. Praise ye the Lord. Praise him in his sanctuary. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Diane Bish. Welcome to the Joy of Music. We have a very special program for you today because we're going to be talking about and listening to music on the theme, joy. Joy is the special inheritance of a person that has committed his life to Christ and is walking daily with God. I want to share with you some music of composers who have experienced this joy and have attempted to set it to music. I would like to begin today by playing one of my own compositions called Joy. It is built on the Bible text, at the right hand of God there are joys forevermore, and in thy presence is fullness of joy. It's very interesting about this piece because it is written in a minor key. And most music that is written in a minor key is sad music. But I have tried to say by writing a happy piece in a minor key that the Christian can still have joy even though he experiences sadness and loneliness and sorrow and even grief. Still, we can know joy through Christ. I want you to notice also that the petals actually do a dance of their own. And this piece has a very unexpected ending. And so on the great Rufati organ, the piece, Joy.
You know, the Bible teaches us that if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. And that if we are Christians and have committed our life to him, that we not only have joy, but that joy is manifest in a new song. The Psalms tell us many things about singing a new song. Let me read you some of those verses. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. Praise the Lord with harp. Sing unto him with psaltery and an instrument of ten strings. Sing unto him a new song. Play skillfully with a loud noise. And it goes on to say in Psalm 98, 1, O sing unto the Lord a new song, for he hath done marvelous things. And then it tells us also in Revelation that even in heaven we will be singing a new song before the throne. I would like for you to listen now to a composition I have written called A New Song. And it is sung for you by the Coral Ridge Choir, Roger McMurrin, directing. I will sing to the Lord, I will sing a new song. I will sing to the Lord, I will sing a new song. I will sing to the Lord, I will sing a new song. I will sing, I will sing, I will sing. weeks ago, I had as my guest on the joy of music, Christopher Parkening, the leading classical guitar virtuoso in the United States. And Chris has just learned to sing a new song because he found Christ and committed his life to him. Chris is a person that had found fame and success and money very early in his life through his musical career. And yet he had found that he was not fulfilled. And so he began a search. And through that search, he found that only Christ could bring him joy and fulfillment. Chris and I found a new way to express joy in music, and that was the combination of classical organ and classical guitar. We would like to play a piece for you now that expresses the source of joy Jesus, and the name of that piece is Yezu, Joy of Man's Desiring, by J.S. Bach.
I would like to share with you now two versions of a chorale that talks about the theme joy, In Thee is Gladness. This was written by Giovanni Gostoldi back in 1591. And the two versions you will be hearing now, the first is by J.S. Bach, and the second is one of my own arrangements. I would like to play the arrangement of J.S. Bach on one of the world's great organs. This organ is in the great cathedral of Harlem, Holland, and is called the Mozart organ. For those of you who read The Hiding Place, the book by Corrie ten Boom, you will remember that she described this great golden organ, how she would go to the concerts every week in this great cathedral and listen to the music of J.S. Bach and how it thrilled her soul as she realized that Bach was a committed Christian and his music was perfection. I had the great honor of making several recordings on this organ not long ago, and while I was there, I recorded the theme of In Thee Is Gladness by J.S. Bach. And then after we hear that great organ, we will hear the Coral Ridge Choir and Orchestra in my arrangement of the same melody, In Thee Is Gladness.
We have been listening on the joy of music today to music that expresses the theme of Christian joy, the inheritance of the person who commits his life to Jesus Christ. We have heard music by composers who have experienced this joy in their own lives. And I would like to ask each of you listening today, have you experienced the joy of Christ, the joy that only comes to those who have a personal relationship with God? You can have that joy even now if you will commit your life to Christ. And he has promised that you will become a new person and you will know this joy and you will sing a new song. I would like to end the program today by playing one of the great hymns of the faith with Ted Cornell, pianist, and I will be at the organ. The great hymn, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee. God of glory, Lord of love. Thank you so much for joining us today on the joy of music we look forward to seeing you again next week 
and may the joy of Christ be yours 